All right, we're seeing futures under quite a bit of pressure this morning. With that in mind, how do you see today shaping up? What's your WEX word of the day? Yeah, actually, this, this uh, perfectly describes my word of the day, which is skepticism. I'm sure you've heard before that the markets are born on pessimism. They grow on skepti skepticism. They're going to um, mature on optimism and die in euphoria. We're clearly going into that skepticism phase where we were definitely pessimistic last year. When you're seeing with investors, they're showing that they're um, – Investor sentiment optimism levels are actually high, but they're not putting their money where their mouth is. There's still a lot of cash on the sidelines, and cash levels actually went up last week, showing that investors are not yet ready to put their money in. And that's what you're seeing right now is markets are having a hard time really starting the year off this year after such a strong end to last year. But I think that's all the more reason that we have this cash on the sidelines. Um, as if inflation does, in fact, come down, you're going to see that come off and go back into the markets. And I think it's all the more reason the markets will eventually go higher this year. Okay. It's just having a little bit of a false start here. All right. So you see the markets going higher long term. But important to note, the S&P kind of peaked in a positive territory last week. Now it looks like it'll open up negative for the year when the opening bell comes, if the trend in futures continues. What does that signal to you? And, and really, what happened to this broadening of the market that so many people were talking about? Yeah, you're definitely seeing this consolidate here, which I don't think is that abnormal. We had a really fantastic run from the end of October through the end of the year, and you're now starting to see that pull back a bit here. And especially now you're seeing earnings are starting, and that's going to be the focus this year where um, the, there was a lot of optimism, especially with artificial intelligence. And now you're going to want to see that actually reflected into earnings or reflecting into profits. And so you're going to see investors, I think, are taking a little bit of a sidelines until we actually see how earnings are shaping up. We're already seeing that starting here. And I I think you're going to start to see some more reflection of that as we go forward. You just need okay. to see some more numbers coming out here. You know, Courtney, you're saying investors are a little bit on the sidelines. According to the latest data from the investment company, it's about $6 trillion on the sidelines. So it's more than just a little bit. With that in mind, as you see that money come off the sidelines, I'm sure some of your clients are in that group. Where would you allocate money to? Are there certain sectors that you would put money to? Are there others you would stay away from? Yeah, we're making sure that we have broadly diversified portfolios, but we are actively taking profits from those large um, the Magnificent Seven companies that did really well last year. And we're adding to things like small caps, things like um, energy, things like real estate, some of those interest rate sensitive sectors. We're making sure we're taking profits and adding there. But also we are seeing a lot of people with cash on the sidelines. That's not what we're recommending right now because we do anticipate interest rates to come down this year. And the first thing that's going to reflect downward are your money market funds. So you do not want to be sitting those forever. You're going to have that interest rate risk where you're going to eventually be reinvesting those into lower rates. So on the safety side of your portfolio, you do want to start to look to um, extend some of your duration on your bonds just to make sure that you're locking into some of those rates that are available right now. Sitting too much in cash is really not a good long-term strategy, and we're actively talking to all of our clients about that right now.